New at 5, you have probably seen the videos by now. Electric vehicle drivers in Chicago stranded for hours, unable to use their cars due to freezing temperatures. The issue highlighting a potential road bump in the ongoing push for more Americans to go electric. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joins us right now live at an EV charging hub in Charlotte. So Taylor, is this cold snap affecting EVs in the Carolinas? Yeah, Alicia, so while temperatures in the Queen City are nowhere close to what Midwesterners are facing right now, yes, electric vehicles, including right here in Charlotte, are being impacted by the cold. While some fuel up at a gas station. It's cool. It's great. I love it. Benefit Mason charges his electric vehicle at a Food Lion parking lot. I said, you just go on your phone and test EV charging station, you will be surprised. It's all over. On average, Mason says it takes about 45 minutes to fully charge his car, unless it's below freezing. That can take upwards of an hour. Sometimes you notice your, your charging will go faster. James, sometimes, yes. In the Queen City, temperatures haven't dipped much lower than 20 degrees. But for those in Chicago, sub zero conditions this week left EV drivers sitting at charging stations for hours. It's still on zero percent, and this is like three hours this morning being out here. One thing that's probably hard for a lot of people to think about is how much energy is you can get out of that battery is different when it's cold than when it's hot. The professor of electric and computer engineering at UNC Charlotte says freezing temperatures impact EV batteries in three ways. Cars don't drive as far, charging time increases, and heating the car will quickly drain the battery. When it comes to a battery, batteries are really, really sensitive to temperature. Under the Biden administration, there has been a massive push for more Americans to go electric. In North Carolina, Governor Cooper says the goal is to have 1.25 million EVs on the road by 2030. I personally, I think that um, if we're going to have electric vehicles and if we're going to have batteries tied into the grid on a, on a really large scale, there's going to have to be some further work on how you deal with these low temperature conditions for sure. For now, Mason says he's fine with waiting a little longer for his EV to charge and is hopeful those behind the technology will continue to improve it. Every situation from when they started, there will be a solution. Now, according to AAA, EVs typically lose around 41% of their driving range when uh, temperatures drop below 20 degrees. Reporting live in Charlotte, Taylor Young, Queen City News.